Venom, and you are mine. Welcome to CBR. Today, we are rewinding key moments in the Venom franchise to analyze Venom's powers. Eyes, lungs, pancreas. Venom is a symbiote. They are carnivorous and symbiotic alien beings who invaded Earth back in the first Venom movie. We've seen a Life Foundation space expedition bringing them to Earth. Venom later reveals he felt like a loser in his planet and decided to look for a new home. Carlton Drake and the Life Foundation scientists use the name due to its form of symbiosis. This is the last time I'm asking you, where is my symbiote? I have no idea. If you've forgotten that lesson from biology class, symbiosis is when different organisms live in physical association in a way that's mutually beneficial, which is why Venom hates being called a parasite. Symbiotes need a host to properly interact with Earth's environment. When it's not a proper host, symbiotes can kill another being but not live inside them. Venom successfully attached to a dog and Annie in the first movie, for example. So Eddie is not Venom's only matching host. But as he explains himself, he grew to like and relate to Eddie. The better the match, the more powerful the symbiosis. Venom also becomes more powerful the longer he's inside his best host. And the advantage Eddie Brock gets in return is having superpowers. <laughs> Venom is able to shapeshift. He can extend his form, creating weapons like axes or use tentacles to grab on anything from any distance. Venom is incredibly versatile, quickly adapting to situations. He can even extend himself to become their own shield or parachute. Venom's healing factor gives Eddie a superhuman physical resilience. With Venom, Eddie can easily heal from injuries like broken bones and wounds. Venom also has amplified senses like enhanced sight, hearing, and even a sort of danger sense like Spider-Man, which allows Eddie to react quickly. In contrast to the comics, the movies cut Venom's spider-like powers such as web-slinging or wall-crawling since Venom's cinematic origin story is independent of Spider-Man. The movies made Venom's ability to climb skyscrapers a product of his shape-shifting and enhanced strength. In his full glory, Venom manifests as a separate entity that envelops Eddie in its monstrous form. In this full-body state, Venom has the most physical strength, durability, and reflexes. In the post credit scene of Venom Let There Be Carnage, we also learn that symbiotes possess a multiversal hive mind, having awareness of events dimensions away. And last but not least, Venom's sharp teeth and claws in his full body manifestation are capable of ripping through any prey. All this certainly makes Venom one of the most powerful Marvel characters in movies. What is your favorite Venom power? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, thanks for watching CBR.